Pastor Bill Bethel Lutheran Church in Green Valley. Today is Friday, it's the 16th of October. Being that it's Friday, it's time for Friday Funnies with my sidekick Noah. He's right here, ready and waiting with some laughs. Noah, what do you have for us? Why didn't the skeletons go to on vacation? Why didn't the skeletons go on vacation? Because they had no money? I don't know. Why didn't they go on vacation? Because they had nobody to go with. They had nobody to go with. Okay, we have to put up with you for one more, don't we? Alright. You've got one more, let's go! Which day comes after the day before Friday? Which day comes after the day before Friday? Which day comes Which day comes after the day before Friday? I'm confused. What day? Friday. You know, you make a fool out of me a lot, don't you? Noah, thank you very much. Say goodbye. Welcome back, and please pray with me. Dear Jesus, the kind strength of your love overwhelms us. It is beyond us as we try to understand why it is that you've done so much for us, especially going to the cross, that we might have forgiveness and salvation. Always share this wonderful story with us that we might be empowered to share it with others. We pray this in your holy name always. Amen. The cross has the fine word. The cross has the fine word. Sorrow may come in the darkest night, but the cross has the fine word. There's nothing stronger, nothing higher. There's nothing greater than the name of Jesus. All the honor, all the power, all the glory to the name of Jesus. The cross has the final word. The cross has the final 
And our reading is from the book of Romans, chapter 3, verses 25 through 26. God sacrificed Jesus on the altar of the world to clear that world of sin. Having faith in him sets us in the clear. God decided on this course of action in full view of the public to set the world in the clear with himself through the sacrifice of Jesus. Finally, taking care of the sins he had so patiently endured. This is not only clear, but it's now. This is current history. God sets things right. God also makes it possible for us to live in his righteousness. Here ends our reading. Paul's letter to the Romans contained so many things. But of course, chief on his agenda in that letter was to remind the congregation in Rome of God's great love for them. He writes, God sacrificed Jesus on the altar of the world. Nothing was hidden here. Nothing was kept behind curtains. Nothing was kept secret. Jesus was laid bare to die before all people. For all men and women and children to see him helpless on the cross. And it's that same Jesus who comes to us in our frailties, in our weakness, in our powerlessness. God comes with great strength and in so doing reminds us that we will always be His, that in our faith, which is inspired by the Spirit, we are given that hope and promise of Christ and the gift of life eternal. Amen. Please pray with me the prayer which has kept us so long. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord protect you, guide you, and keep